Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will demonstrate the batch analysis feature in NanoAnalyze using ITC data. The first step will be loading the files you wish to analyze into the software. This can be done by clicking Add Files to Dataset. Once the files are loaded, click on the Create ITC Batch button. A pop-up will open that contains all the files you have loaded into the software. Select the ones you wish to analyze. In this example, all will be selected besides the blank titration. Click Add Selected. Next, I would suggest to double check the experimental parameters in the files by clicking the Change Experimental Parameters button. A pop-up will appear where you can modify concentrations if needed. And click Update Selected. If you have a blank experiment to subtract from the files, you can click and drag that file into the blank box. Depending how the blank experiment looks or was performed, one can either subtract out the blank heats by injection or the average blank heat from all injections. In this case, the average blank will be subtracted by clicking here. To apply it to the titrations you wish, simply select them in the table, either by clicking the empty top box for all of them or individually if needed. Once selected, click the blank update button to apply. When running the batch analysis, I would suggest starting with the auto integration with, which allows the software to determine when each injection starts and returns to baseline. But one does have the option to set this manually or to define an integration range in seconds. We are now ready to select the model for the batch analysis. To do so, just double click the models table and a pop-up will appear. In this case, I will use a blank constant and an independent model for all the files I have loaded. Click the play button to start the analysis process. A check mark will appear by all files where a good fit was obtained. If for some reason the fit isn't ideal, the data set will be flagged by a yellow highlight and a warning triangle. If this happens, it is suggested to go back and look at the particular file, either by right clicking and selecting open analysis or going to the data file directly in the data section on the left. In this case, it looks like one of the injections was bad. So to exclude it from the fit, simply click it and it will turn gray. Press the play button to fit the data. Once we go back to the batch analysis, you will see that the table has been updated. To accept this fit, right click and select accept fit. Each of the graphs present in the batch analysis can be copied to the clipboard by right clicking. You can also change the colors and which parameters are included in the bar graph by selecting the settings icon at the top. You can set this as a default by clicking the check mark icon afterwards. One can export the table results by clicking the export to file button, or all of the bar graphs can be saved together by clicking the printer with the disk image and selecting all bar graphs. In this tech tip, we learned how to perform a batch analysis on ITC data. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.